Hello Libra, this is Debs and this is your reading for June 2021. Libra, <laughs> I think a lot of you are feeling a little bit unbalanced at the moment. I feel that you've got a lot on your plate, but I also feel that for some reason there's been a few little things that have got you down. Now it could literally be one of those off days, you know, when everything doesn't seem to work out. <laughs> Little things, you know, you spill the milk, your laptop doesn't work, the phone runs out of battery when you need to use it, okay? Someone calls you that you really don't want to speak to, right? Internet get cuts off, gets cut off. Whatever this is for you, I feel as if you've had kind of a series of unfortunate events. But I feel that these have been small unfortunate events. But for some reason, because they're all kind of gathered together, it's got you in a little bit of a down place. Michael's been telling me that the sun is going to turn up, okay? The sun is going to come up. You're going to feel a lot better. It could be that you get a message from someone that you've been waiting to hear from. It could be that you get a bonus that you didn't expect. The divine is working very hard behind the scenes to kind of lift your energy, get you back into balance. I don't know what this reading is going to pertain to be. Can't speak today. <laughs> Maybe I'm connecting with your energy. But let's move in. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, here we go, guys. Calling on the divine, the higher angels and ascended masters from the pure white light. Please guide me in this reading for my Libras. This is for June 2021. Michael's energy is with me. Archangel Haniel is also here. Archangel Metatron. Archangel Ariel. Archangel Uriel. And Archangel Shamuel. Thank you, Michael. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just think you're having a bit of an off time, Libra. Okay. We'll see. Michael's saying stop. We'll see. We'll see. I'm hearing the words, look on the bright side, okay? So it could be that the divine wants you to kind of take a look around and realize that actually, maybe compared with a lot of people out there, life is pretty good, pretty good. Could be just the way you're looking at things. Okay, oh, yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I can't, I've got to say, say it to you guys. I'm hearing, you know, they haven't paid me on time. I haven't got any money left in my account. The guy that I really like hasn't texted me. I'm just a bit feeling a bit pissed off right now. <laughs> I'm just feeling a bit antsy right now. You know when you have those days? <laughs> Libra. Oh, yeah. Waiting, 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 waiting. When is my life going to pick up? When is it all going to start moving forward for me? Yeah. Yeah. You're waiting. There's a lot of frustration, Libra. You want to get going, whether this is in love or your career. There's a sense of, <sighs> OK, I'm just going to sit here until things get better, I guess. What else am I going to do? Yeah, divine is coming in. Hmm. OK. Yeah. I feel as if ironically the, the the situation that you're waiting for someone else is also waiting for too it could be that the energy isn't conducive to you actually progressing at the moment but i'm feeling it's almost the divine saying hold on libra we know you're frustrated we know you want to move forward we know there are things that are in your way we're trying to remove these blocks but you're just going to have to sit in this energy for a little bit it could be that they're wanting you to be grateful for where you are, okay? To understand that actually, in the great scheme of things, life isn't too bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing hoping there are no further delays. I think this has been really challenging for you, Libra. But look at what is coming. Wow. Wow. Ten of Cups. 
It's almost as if the divine wants you to say, wants you to feel that they are behind you, supporting you. And I almost want to say, try to do whatever you can at the moment to kind of get you out of this little rut. And I have to say that you might have actually fallen into yourself. You kind of pushed yourself into this rut because you've been concentrating on the things that haven't worked out in your life when actually I feel that in general things are okay, right? For the majority of you, at least you've got a job, even though you may not be paid what you feel you deserve or you might have a delay in the money coming through. At least you have got someone in your life, even though they may be kind of a little bit up and down emotionally and dealing with their own crap. You're okay, actually. And I feel that pretty soon the sun is going to come up, things are going to start moving, life will be looking good again. You've just got to get through this challenging, stagnant type energy at the moment. I feel as if The people are around the people that are around you and I can't talk. This is very interesting, but I'm feeling that the people around you are treading on eggshells with you, Libra, at the moment. They're not quite sure what they can do to help you. They're not sure why exactly you're feeling so down. And I just feel it's an accumulation of lots of little things that have annoyed you or upset you or just made you feel a bit disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful that you don't push people away or you don't say or do anything you may later regret because you're kind of in this funk, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting because exactly what I've been feeling has come through here. I mean, for instance, we've got you sending email after email to someone about, you know, where is my money? When is it going to come through? You owe me this. Or why is there a delay? Or why haven't I been paid? Or why is my system crashed? Or why isn't the bank giving me a loan? energy underneath. Why haven't you texted me to tell me that you care about me? I'm now going in my head a little bit worried that this connection that I have with this person is not going to work out. You know, little thing after little thing after little thing. You're almost leaning into the stress rather than away from the stress, leaning into the problem rather than just trying to disconnect yourself from the problem. It could be that there's a bigger root issue underneath this annoyance of these little things that's actually causing you to feel burdened, that maybe you're not wanting to admit to yourself, okay? It could be, you know, even though I'm glad I've got a job, you know, they haven't paid me. Well, is the root issue actually I'm not being paid for what I, what I do in terms of a job and I hate my job anyway? So actually, for those of you that I, I'm connecting with, it could be that you need to look at a different career path. Could it be that even though you're lucky or unhappy that someone is in your life, they're not really behaving in the way that you want them to. They're not really pushing a connection forward with you. Maybe the root issue of that is maybe I'm with the wrong person. But maybe for whatever this is, whoever I'm connecting with, if there are bigger root issues that you don't want to face, maybe the stress that you're feeling is actually the fact that you know you need to face these things, but you just can't do it. I, I don't want to deal with finding another job right now. I don't want to deal with getting onto the dating scene again. Maybe it's that. Underneath the deck, we've got the emperor. This is you taking control of your life. This is you deciding that whatever this is for you, 
I don't want to do this anymore. I'm getting a very restless energy, Libra. For some of you, with the Eight of Pentacles, you've been working and working and working for what? Someone to not give you the money that you feel you deserve. Somebody else that got the commission, not you. I feel as if you're kind of wanting to take your life by the scruff of its neck and kind of churn things around, but there's a lot of fear in doing that. Because I do feel you've got an end goal. What we have is the lovers, <clears throat> excuse me, next to that. <clears throat> wow, my throat is completely closing up. I'm sorry, guys, for clearing my throat. It's not nice. Um, Gemini. I'm hearing everything is going to slot into place. It's going to be fine. You've got the Ten of Cups in your outcome, Libra. That's a lot of happiness. That's a lot of stability. That's paying off a loan. No problems paying your rent. That's your person stepping up and saying, I'm sorry, I was busy. I've had a lot on my plate. I do want to be with you. I've just got a few issues of my own to deal with. Okay? And suddenly the sun is shining. Mm. Okay, guys. I'm with you. I get it. I get it. Okay, so let's just delve in and let's just go through the feelings. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You've been looking at the past, Libra, whether it's the investment you put into your job, investment you put into a relationship, and you're just not feeling it's bringing what you want. For some of you, you've worked really hard. And again, maybe you're feeling as if your money's going into an empty pit. A deep pit, okay? I never have enough money, even though I'm on a decent salary. I just don't have enough. Frustration more than anything else. For some of you, if you're looking at what you put into a relationship in terms of investment, with a King of Cups in reverse, somebody's a bit, dare I say it, wishy-washy. Yeah, yeah, you know I love you. That type of energy. And you're sitting there looking at the person going, well, do you? Really? I don't feel it. I don't know. Where is this going type of energy? Because the King of Cups in the reverse can be someone who doesn't really know what they want. So they're off and on, you know, one minute expressing their emotions, the next minute not saying anything. So you're left in a state of confusion. It may be that you're dealing with two big issues in your life, love and career. And you're just not feeling that either are really going your way. And there's a sense of kind of wanting to chuck all the cards in the air and either saying to your person, OK, that's it. I, I think that we should end it. Or, you know, going to see your HR manager and saying, right, that's it. I'm just having you my notice. You know, Libra, that you cannot do either. You don't really want to do either. So the divine is asking you to sit very still in this period of time and try and ride the wave because life is going to pick up. In the past, Page of Wands, this can be a bright idea, inspiration. Oh, I know, I'll do this. Or it could be that somebody messaged you. For some of you, there were issues with a child. After that time, with the Three of Wands, you were kind of waiting for something to take off. Again, your career path, waiting for somebody to come and visit you waiting for your relationship to kind of pick up. It kind of didn't. It's the kind of energy of someone getting very excited, wanting to meet somebody at the airport or wanting to get on a plane. And then, you know, you get a tannoy announcement saying, I'm sorry, the plane's being grounded. The flight's cancelled. And everything kind of disintegrates. All the joy, all the excitement, all the happiness, all the elevated energy just falls flat. And you're kind of there suddenly finding yourself feeling just really antsy, you know, a bit annoyed. Oh, God, right? Yeah. Waiting, 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 Libra, for life to turn in your direction, for life to get better. In your thoughts, again, waiting. The chariot. 
I really want to move forward, but storm clouds are gathering. I really want to move forward, but I've got blocks in front of the wheels. I'm going to move forward today, but oh, I haven't got any reins to steer the chariot in the right direction. Oh God, and I'm not wearing the right stuff. I've got to change. Delays after delays after delays. I don't feel that you have been holding yourself back. I don't. I think there's just a sense of frustration that every time you feel as if things are beginning to move forward, somebody kind of pushes you back. But I feel, Libra, it's very much divinely guided. You may look back at this and realise. Michael, when have you got the energy of the Hierophant coming in for my Libra? I'm actually hearing this whole energy came into play. Michael's telling me around about the end of October last year. So for one of you, this is very specific. Waiting to move forward from the end of October last year. Again, it could be feeling as if you want to put, push your life forward and it's just not happening. But it is divinely guided that you stay stock still for now. The Hierophant. The Divine is with you. The Divine has your back. Okay? Believe in Divine Timing because that's what we're looking at for you. This is you maybe approaching a new company for a job. This is you maybe going to see the HR Director. Can we talk about why I haven't got a bonus this year? Am I going to get my pay rise? For some of you, you're wanting to get married. And your person isn't actually pushing this forward. You don't feel in that this is progressing. What is really interesting is the person that you're connecting to, whether it's your boss who really wants to give you the promotion, but they're held back by their own issues, higher ups. It could be that the person that you want to move forward with just isn't in that place in their life where you could, they can offer you that right now. So they are facing stalemate in their life, which means that your life is on hold. Because whatever this is for you, they're sat at crossroads. They can't move because of their own issues. They can't help you move because they're sitting in stagnant energy too. But that's the state of the world that we're dealing with right now. So many people are, for instance... Wanting to find jobs that are better paid. But the media are saying, hang on to your jobs because people are being let go. It could be that you're wanting to finalise a divorce. But again, the courts are shut down or have faced massive delays in finalising divorces. Because people are off. People are working from home in and out of lockdown, right? Delays after delays after delays. So everyone's in actually the same boat, Libra. It's not just you. But because you are all about balance, it's affecting you more than most. And you've, again, I'm hearing you've just got to ride the wave. Do whatever you can to lift yourself into that positive way of thinking. Get things done that you can do right now. Just keep yourself moving as much as you can. If the internet dies and you cannot read your emails, go outside, get a breath of fresh air, go and get something to eat, go and have a coffee, relax. Don't sit at your desk stressing about it. There's nothing you can do. If your person hasn't called you, rather than sitting feeling a bit miserable looking at your phone, do something different. Call a family member. Have a chat with a best mate. If it's a rainy day and you really wanted to get out and do some exercise, do some exercise in front of the TV. Loads of fitness channels on YouTube. What you're fearing is whatever you have been dreaming about, you know, moving forward in your career, getting hitched to someone, moving in with someone, clearing that loan. You're fearing that with a high priestess, you're just going to sit in fantasy about this and it's never actually going to happen there's going to be no communication there's going to be no reality of 
what you want manifesting for you. It will happen. It is going to happen. But this is you dealing with the frustration. What you're hoping for is that with the eight of wands in reverse, there are no further delays because this is delay. This is I cannot travel. I cannot progress in my career. I don't think my relationship is going anywhere. <laughs> Again, I'm hearing I'm just a bit pissed off with the world right now. I'm just a bit annoyed with the world right now. It's just not going my way. The ending of your reading, Libra, as I've said before, is beautiful. Ten of Cups. This is you getting that better job. This is you getting that loan for a mortgage. This is you moving in with the person that you want to be with. It's kind of, this is your Ten of Cups. This is complete emotional fulfillment on its way. This is just a little bit of a shadow energy that you're just going to have to push through at the moment. So we've gone over these energies. So let's just delve in, see what else we can get through for you. It's a fascinating reading because when I sat down to do your reading, I noticed it was 5.55 on the clock. Now that is challenge, big challenge, but it's also change. Change is going to happen. What is also interesting if you add 5, 5, 5, you get 15, right? If you add 1 and 5, you get 6. 6 is balance. So you are going through this massive challenge, but it's going to eventually bring you into place of balance. And you may look back and think, you know what? I'm glad I didn't chuck all the cards in the air and leave my job because I got my promotion. It was just delayed. I'm glad I didn't end things with my person because they were just going through a really rough time. And the last thing that they felt they needed to do was have me sitting on the other end of the phone, kind of pressuring them to get in touch with me because they were dealing with this, that and the other. It's all fine. It's going to work out, Libra. So this is you looking at the situation glass half full, not glass half empty. Look at what you've achieved so far. Be grateful for what you have. And just be patient because the divine is supporting you in whatever you're dealing with right now. Everyone is on hold. The whole world is on hold, right? What is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse for my Libras? I'm hearing no communication, trying to get the money, trying to get my loan, trying to get out of this relationship, whatever this is for you. And there's a sense of, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And it's annoying me. I can feel the energy coming through. And it's just dragging you down because there's a very strong sense of wanting to push forward, wanting to be victorious, wanting to get the show on the road, and you just can't. Yeah, Knight of Swords in reverse. No communication. Some of you are waiting for factual information, agreements to be signed money to come in, someone to message you, it's not happening. You're kind of standing back, feeling a bit down, feeling a bit low, clutching hold of your money, thinking, oh, okay, well, I can't do anything. I can't say anything. I've just got to stand here. Yep, I cannot take a leap of faith. I shouldn't take a leap of faith and do anything too risky, but my God, I want to. I want to feel happy again. I want to feel excited again. I want to, you know, break free of whatever this is. You can't do it. And because of all that stagnant energy, you're just feeling as if things aren't good. I mean, this would be you marching ahead in your life, whatever this is for you. Flags are flying. People are cheering. You're being looked up to. You've succeeded in whatever this is. You just feel flat. I'm not going anywhere. My person hasn't rung me. I can't pay off my loan. Whatever this is for you, it's just making you feel blah, you know? <laughs> I'm sure that's in the English dictionary. All right, what is the chariot? Again, stagnant energy. For me, that's someone who really wants to move forward, but is just feeling blocked. Feeling blocked. What is this all about? 
What is this all about? I think it's got you into just a very slight state of feeling a bit down. A bit down, a bit kind of ugh, frustrated. Four swords. Yeah. Oh, I can't be bothered to go into work today. Oh, God, they haven't rung me again. They haven't texted me again. What is going on? Getting into your head. Are they with somebody else? Is my relationship going under? Is this ever going to work out? You know, you're in your head. I mean, this is mild depression. This is you also feeling pretty exhausted with life at the moment. Okay? Yeah. You're not feeling as if you want to take action or you can take action and you're just not feeling you can manifest anything. Some of you, you're worried about your money. Others of you, you're feeling very isolated on your own. And it's kind of culminating in you just getting a bit testy. Be careful you're not testy with other people, Libra, at this point of time. Because I don't think this is about anyone in particular. I think this is a general feeling of you being stuck. So don't cause issues with other people when actually you realise it's just you feeling a bit frustrated. Just calm the energy down. Calm the energy down. This phase of your life is not going to last forever. It's not. What is the energy of the Hierophant, please, Michael? What is the energy of the Hierophant? What is that energy? I really feel it's very interesting. Um, this is more of an energy read for you guys rather than a specific situation. It's just the energy of, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. I can't move forward. I'm feeling as if I'm not achieving what I want to achieve. And you're just not feeling yourself. You're just feeling a bit down. The divine has your back. I'm hearing that. The Hierophant is with you. That's a lot of spiritual support. Yeah, they know you're struggling, Libra. They know you're tired. They know you're feeling really down. You're seeing cup half empty. They know you're sitting in a place of fear. You don't really know what's going on. A bit of confusion. Okay. Yeah. Star in reverse, I'm not getting my wish come true, I'm not feeling balanced, I'm not feeling good about things and I just want to take the day off work and spend the day sitting on the sofa, eating Ben and Jerry's, watching Netflix. It's you having a little bit of an emotional temper tantrum inside your head. Antsy is the words coming through. Let's find out what's going on with whoever this is. What is happening to my Libra's person? Whoever they are. They've got their own issues, Libra. They've got their own issues. They could be waiting for things to take off in their life. And they may be feeling as frustrated as you. I feel that they're, they're actually also facing delays. Okay. So they're standing at crossroads. It's like they want to move forward too. They want to get things done too, but they can't for whatever reason. Could be completely separate than you. Two of pentacles in reverse. So this person is possibly struggling with money or they can't actually travel to see you. Frustration. Yeah. Yeah. This person is feeling equally annoyed with life, on their own, confused. They could be waiting for money to come through that hasn't come through. They could be dealing with a very difficult child. Yeah, again, it could be financial for your person. Money hasn't come in. So I can't move forward with my Libra. It could be something that's preventing the two of you being together. 
Judgment in reverse. This person wants to make a decision. This person wants to see you if there's distance between the two of you. They can't get to see you. Again, stuck. Wheels not turning forward. You're equally stuck. Okay, now, now. What is the energy of the Ten of Cups? What is the energy of the Ten of Cups? What is the energy of the Ten of Cups? What is the energy of the Ten of Cups? Yeah. What is the energy of the Ten of Cups? Libras, it's all going to work out. You're just going through a really tough time. Anything else, Michael? I keep hearing the divine has got your back. It's going to be okay. That's it. Michael's saying that's it. Okay. All right, guys, keep your fingers crossed. Let's see what this Ten of Cups is. I'm pretty sure it's you realizing that happiness is coming. All of those Ten Cups will be filled. You're going to be fine. This is just a tricky time. Oh, wow. Ace of Wands. Yeah. So this is inspired action. This is you getting your spark lit again. This is you feeling a lot more optimistic. This is a brand new start, whatever this is for you. Whatever this is, it's going to help you move forward because you're able to make a decision based on the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands, whatever this means for you. There's clarity coming through when you were sitting in a lot of confusion before. Oh, unseen card. Interesting. Oh, that was there. Thank you, Michael. Two of Cups. This could be a beautiful relationship blossoming. Could be with a Sagittarius, but this is divine angelic healing. For some of you, Nine of Pentacles, you're going to get yourself financially stable. So if you were waiting for a loan, you're going to get your house, you're going to pay your rent, it's all fine. This is you very calm again, feeling good about things again. Working in partnership with other people. People are there to support you. Celebrating a launch party, your own business, moving in together. King of Swords, for some of you, hearing that the divorce is finalised, hearing somebody else's divorce is finalised. It could be, for some of you, that you're moving into a beautiful new relationship. A lot of love coming in and a lot of transformation. Closing out an old chapter where you felt stuck and stagnant and wow, celebration. Celebration. Kind of, you made it. You did it. It's all okay now. This has been a very unusual reading, Libra. But I feel that for one of you, you really needed to hear it to kind of give you hope that it's, it's going to be okay. So I'm leaving it there. If you felt this was your story, do reach out and we'll see where this might go for you. You can reach me, DebraClaire.com. Down below in the description box is my website. If you want to join me on Instagram, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, Libra. Keep your chin up. Bye now.